what Kirby can do in terms of spacing against him, because in my mind, Kirby's best tools of space are F tilts and down tilts. So I'm very curious to see how Oath is going to respond to that. But like, keep in mind, after after the Nair buff, Kirby's Nair is actually a really good neutral tool as well. It's yeah. safe on shield, it, it comes out quickly, so you can use it out of shield. It, it kills relatively early. But yeah, F tilt, down tilt, really good options as well. But you're kind of seeing, like, Oath just like cannot find dead. an answer to this wall that Kirby is putting up. He didn't up a stock already. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Oath try a different character after this. Just like, yeah. he, he does not like this matchup. It does surprise me, but I mean, like, Kirby is a really small hitbox, so it is going to be really hard to get. But it doesn't mean that, like, Kirby doesn't have the best frame data. The combos don't seem too, like, spectacular, really. Oh, I mean, Roy is a fastballer, so you yeah. can get those those grab combos up from forward throw at pretty low percent. Yeah. But I think part of the problem with this is, like, Roy isn't, like, the most, like, range sword character. Yeah, So that's Kirby true. can kind of combat him in terms of disjoints and range. Yeah. And I like how Oda's mixing up his f tilts too. Sometimes he's going high, maybe to try to kill him out if he's trying to go for a jump. He is going to get that up there, getting him all the way up to 80%, and Kirby is light. This is where he's got to worry. He has, to, like, Oda's ledge trapping and corner pressure is probably his best asset. Yeah. But being that Kirby is so floaty and can kind of just jump over him and skip that phase, yeah. it makes it a lot harder for him to get what he wants. Yeah. He didn't get the strong kid on that double edge dance either, so he's not going to be able to take the stock. That is an, that is something you got to watch out for. That up tilt, yeah, down smash is going to kill. That Smart. up tilt into up air is, is now true. I know that that was a buff that Kirby got. I wouldn't be surprised if both tried Krom after this. Like, it's definitely more of a Krom matchup. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's cheeky. going for the sucking cock. He might as well. Oh, my gosh. Tries to get... Yeah, the floor blade is not gonna work out for him. Yeah, this is this is not looking good. He just needs like a random F tilt or something, I feel. And he's pulling the trigger a little too early on the neutral B. And that's part of the pro this is part of the problem with Roy is like once you get past a certain percentage, yeah, you just cannot convert properly. You have to get a really raw kill off. Like he went for the sliding F tilt there. Yeah. It's just. There's only so much you can do. Like, yeah, that yeah, boy will go across the whole stage. But look at how much damage that first stock did. He's at 90%, and yeah, he is going to use the super armor to get out of it, but he's sitting at 110. Any, you got to watch out for single hit fair. Single hit fair does true combo to F-Smash. All right, Oath getting that four air train across the stage does have him in the corner off stage. Kirby rolling on. Gonna try to go for yeah. it. <laughs> That, that's what I would have gone for, too. Yeah, he is going to get a little bit of punish trying to go for the, some cheese. Yeah. And he's dead. Reverse edge guard with Kirby because Kirby's got 50 jumps. He had to go for it, yeah. though. He, like, if, he had gotten the, if he had gotten the back air, that would have given him a chance to cheese with, Roy, like, oh, yeah. with Roy's high kill power. But I I don't see those sticking yeah. around for game two. Yeah. So meeting taking game number one. Counterpick going to Smashville. I I would like to see a character switch. Yeah, he is going to go with the Krom. Yep. It doesn't surprise me at all. I mean, there's always been debate between Krom and Roy. This does seem more of a Krom matchup. But I think yeah, it's just yeah. like, you might as well just co-main them. They both have things that are good. Mm. They both have tools. Like, it's just like, some matchups are better than others for me for them. Yeah. But they're similar enough that you can play both. <coughs> ooh, he's gonna, ooh! Yeah, get, get, get in the, the inhale combo. Which, to be honest, like, I can't really, actually, no. So you could probably neutral be Krom's upbeat. Yep, yep, that is dangerous. <laughs> Because so. on the rising part, Krom, is, Krom does have that armor. Oh, yeah, and he's trying it. Yep. Gets him with the down throw. He's sitting at around 100%. Yeah, and that's just... And honestly, getting that neutral B from Krom is such an infinitely better option than everything that you can uh, have with Kirby. Because even if you have that down air, it's not really a good spike at all. I guess you could probably use the, um, the Kirby down B on top of him as well, but... Yep. It... He, there, Kirby is not. Okay, oh, he, he got, tries that. But so far, this game going a lot better for Oath. This game is completely even. Like, if he, he can get jab back air, sliding F tilt, like, Kirby is going to die. But that back air will yeah. take it. Even up a stock. Looking good in this game, too. He is going to be set, sending him in the air. <laughs> He's going to do a little bit of a stall with the Flare Blade. Trying to get him to ch charge in. That's one thing that Krom yeah. has in this matchup that Roy does not in order to yeah. combat Kirby's Sword like, slash. normal pressure. Yeah. Being, being able to use that up be out of shield. Definitely makes Kirby have to be more selective with his hitboxes. <laughs> if he hits one of those, oh my gosh, it's going to be so and There's cool. no risk, you know? Really, it isn't. That move has pretty much zero end lag. Hey, yeah, just getting the F smash in there. Yep, using neutral air to catch the roll on edge. He is going <laughs> to get the trade? He, oh my gosh, he is going he's for just, it. 
I mean, Mia's a goofy guy. He's just going for the funny stuff right He's now. He's trying to meme on him, I swear. You do not! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Honestly, with Krom, it would not have it would not have surprised me if he got the soaring slash to reverse edge guard him. Yeah, this is uh, not looking fun. Yeah. But yeah, getting jab into up air there, being switching songs midway through the game. <laughs> feeling just that confident. Yeah. I think actually he restarts it between socks. I yeah. think that's I think that's his thing that he does. Um but yeah, he can. He just kind of is doing what he wants. But you're starting to see Oath get tired of that. <laughs> yeah, Oath just goes for the falling up air in the back air. Yeah, Oath is like trying to say, "Do not cheese me anymore." Yeah. You can't. You can't really mess around against Oath, especially like when he has you in the corner. He, he will keep you there for a while. Oh yeah. He's gonna miss the jab. He's gonna be eating the forward air punish from Kirby. Yeah, now he's just staying out of his range. Don't want to overextend. This is what you need to do though against against Kirby is you have to be willing to just camp the crap out yeah. of him and just make him come to you and you have to play very uncommittal. Yeah, holding right. center stage so you can't get edge guarded. This is a bad situation though. Yeah. Also, yeah, both has not been grabbing at all. Yeah. So Kirby you know, can Kirby just can crouch camp grab? shield and like do near out of shield. Yeah, such. but can Kirby like crouch underneath grab though? I'm curious. It depends on the character. Okay. Like it, a lot of characters can grab him, no problem. Yeah. But like there are those that can't. But yeah. How Oath many has times has he used up B like just either in neutral or as an edge guard? Oath has used it many, many times. This is yeah. up. Uh, I'll talk about uh, Meaden because Meaden's been pulling it out a lot. Mm -hmm. Just because it's like the one projectile that Kirby kind of has. If both can hold this corner up. He didn't punish the dash attack, though. Hey, you're seeing Oath get the hang of this matchup. Like, it might be too little too late, but for next time, he knows that Krom is definitely the pick. Yeah. Yeah, he finally got that. He finally got that up B timing. Yeah. But Oh, he's going to go right above the back air, yeah. And I'm expecting like a raw F smack or something like that from Eden soon. Yeah. But he does. He has him in the corner, off stage. F tilt will kill from Kirby pretty oh, yeah. soon here. Same with forward air. Forward air will kill already. Yeah. Ooh, he tries to go for the sliding F tilt. He's not going to get it. Back air to set up the edge guard. Mian's primarily looking for that back air right now. That's his main oh, kill yeah. option at these percents. Yep. Oh, I like that little bit of movement. Stalling on top platform. And it he is going to finish it all. He hasn't been doing that all game. So yeah. like, he saved it for when it mattered, which is yeah. something that a lot of players don't always keep in mind. It's like, yeah, yeah the option's there, but if you use it like when it's not going to kill, yeah, what's there's no the point, point going for it. Then it's in their head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he really he really let let him go like right and let drop zone pretty safely. And he just came in with a drop zone fair when it mattered. And Kirby dying, I think it was at 90 from that forwarder. I mean, max rage with Krom. Too, yeah, yeah. yeah. And on Smash Bros, it's one of the smallest side blasts yeah. out yeah. of the legal stages. I'm wondering, because he was adapting, I'm sure he might be debating the hero. He, yeah, he, he's debating yeah. it. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's worth trying the hero. I think Oath figured that matchup out pretty hard there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this is a matchup hero does, I don't know, because he gets ledge trapped very hard by Krom, and yeah. Krom's a great rushdown character, which is what hero primarily struggles with. Yeah. But he can, he can keep him out, especially on a stage like Kalos that's so big. Yeah, using that Kazap, trying to. Well, maybe not Kazap, but using the, using the lightning to keep my distance. He's going to get the Kaboom he immediately. He's at low MP, but that is not going to stop him. And, and you're starting to see him. He's even camping the yeah. menu pole despite the fact. Oh, oh my god! The counter. Oh, yo, no, up smash. Up. Why would. What? The, what? The, 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 what? what? He I mean, still got matter. it, but he has zero. zero death. Huh? I am so confused. He gets the shield the? break. He gets a shield break. Does not kill off the shield break. And he just kabooms him, right him off stage the and hell? then kills him at, with a zero to death. That was insane by Meaden. I think Meaden got a heal somewhere in there, so maybe it wasn't a true zero to death. I don't know. I don't. I don't think he got touched. Is he? No, he's fine. No, he's he's alive. Oh, but he's perfect space there, in there. Yeah. But jet back here will do it. Despite the fact that Oath just got absolutely annihilated that first sock, this game is pretty much even. Yeah, so he's got to watch that shield when he's got some psych up and oomph uh, stuff going on. Oh Dude, my god! god! That was kind of slick. I, I was waiting for you to be done, so I'd be like, I think this snooze is going to hit him as yeah. he upbees. And then it happened. And that's why he was looking for the kamikaze. So, uh, this matchup looks unwinnable for Krom. I'm kidding. <laughs> but you know what I mean.
And look at... Oh, it's just... Oh, he doesn't have enough mana to go for the Kazab! This has been yeah. the weirdest the game of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate I've ever seen. Yeah, he looked for the zoom too. He didn't actually pull it up. You does not get the zoom there. Yeah, he's you get, do get a heightened chance of actually getting zoom when you're off stage with that, but he's forced to burn more of his mana just trying to use use the up recovery. It still has plenty of mana to play with. And one thing I've noticed is Oath is kind of just running at him even when he gets the buff. He gets the dash back forward smash. Despite he's everything, this game is dead even. But oh, once again, Meaden has those buffs and Oath's approaching anyway. Yeah. He can't go for that Kamikaze too. He's got to watch that command select, that command deck very closely. Just like that, lots of damage coming in for Oath. He does waste a psych up to set up with the back throw. Oh, oh he gets him again! Is it gonna? Oh, oh my God! God! The mash from Oath. So is oh, he, he just trying like to get the space when it didn't come out of time? Correctly, or what is going on there? Like, he, I know you can hit crimes. He hits the top, but like, I think he just needs to be like. Yeah. Spacing himself correctly. Though. I know. This is such a big space battle. They're pretty much dead even. He's just going to shield it there. He's at low mana. Yeah. Get in there. Get him in the corner. Oh, drops on fair. Zoom. He does finally get the zoom. Was he going to predict it? No, he just gets a grab. Yeah. Get, get back, back here. He's thing. dead. Yeah. That was a really <laughs> crazy <laughs> set. What the hell was that? That was hype. That was awesome. That was insane. Okay, best like, set so far on stream. Yeah, that was by far. Awesome. Good set he, by both players. Dude, um, he went from getting zero to death right. to, oh, bringing, to bringing it back. That was crazy. Holy crap. That was awesome. Oh, now, oh, now we know that um, Oath has a godlike mash. Let's go, Oath. I'm going to be playing stream now. So. Yeah. Uh, Good stuff. That was holy crap. Um, so all I got to say, Oath with the mental composure of like freaking Batman or something. Whew. All right, so we're gonna be having 